Hi, Chanel from TTHQ here, and in this tutorial I'll demonstrate how you can set up a PayPal Sandbox testing account. Please note, before you continue to watch this tutorial, you'll need to already have a personal or business PayPal account to be eligible to create a Sandbox account. If you need assistance creating a basic account, please see our related tutorials in the description below. Follow along if you already have a PayPal account to find out how you can easily create a Sandbox account for testing e-commerce functions on your website. Creating a PayPal Sandbox either for personal or business use means you can complete a test transaction without needing to use real money. So to create a PayPal Sandbox account, we'll need to head over to developer.paypal.com and log in with our live PayPal account details. So once you're on your PayPal developer account, you'll need to click on the dashboard and then on the accounts menu, under Sandbox. You'll see two Sandbox accounts that are automatically created by PayPal. One is a test business account and one is a test personal account. The business account will have facilitator in the email address and the personal account will have buyer in the email address. So you won't get those two confused. While it does say email address, each of these aren't really email addresses, but more login credentials for PayPal Sandbox. You can use this email address along with the password to log into your Sandbox account. So to change the password, if you can't remember what your password was or you haven't created one yet, you would click on the profile button for the account in question. So I'll be focusing on the personal account in this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on profile. It's here in this pop-up that I can change my password. So that'll be the first thing that I'll do now. So I've entered my password and then make sure you click that save button, otherwise the change won't be applied. My password has been updated. I'd now like to show you the funding tab as well. If you click on the funding tab, you've got all your fake bank account details here. You can also see the balance that's in this PayPal Sandbox testing account. So currently mine has 9,999 Australian testing dollars. Yours will most likely be in USD. So now that we've taken a look at that, we'll close and we'll keep in mind the password that we just created. So we'll first need to copy the email address of the account that we'd like to log into. So I'm copying my personal account and I've got the password that I've just created in my head and I'll head over to www.sandbox.paypal.com slash sign in. I'll need to paste in that email address followed by the password I just created. Then I'll click the login button and that'll take me to my Sandbox account. Once you've logged in, you'll see that this account does look very similar to a real PayPal account. It'll even have a balance. Yes, I know, too bad it isn't real. Below, you'll see any test transactions that have taken place. I haven't used this personal Sandbox PayPal account before, hence the blank recent activities section. So now that we've taken a look at how we can log in to our personal or business PayPal Sandbox account, we'll go back to our developer.paypal.com where I'll show you how you can create a custom Sandbox account. So if you wish to create a custom Sandbox account, you can do so by clicking the Create an Account button. You'll need to fill in a few details here to create a new Sandbox account, and then you can click the Create Account button once those details are filled in. So I'll go ahead now and I'll fill in those details. I'll just leave these ones blank as they're optional. I'll add a PayPal balance. The max I think is 10,000. So I'll just add something like 2,000. I'll just choose MasterCard and I can click the create an account button now. So you can see that my new testchanelmariestone at gmail.com account is now live there. It's still just processing, but in a couple of minutes it should come up with complete and I'll be able to use that account. I can then go into the profile and I can edit the password if needed. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial on viewing and creating a PayPal Sandbox testing account. All the best with your website testing.